Hi guys, I'm Strip Third Lords. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll explain a thing about UI. So, UI is well named GY are pretty much objects that will be sticking to your screen. See, as this frame here it will be always on your screen and you cannot get rid of it and i'll explain something to you why which is pretty important to know especially if you are actually planning to make ui for actual games because there's a difference between computer screen and phone screen the screen of a phone has a different size than the screen of a computer and I'm just gonna show you a quick example why this can become a problem because in this case here we have a frame and now it may seem kind of small for us but I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger and on the phone it takes up a way bigger space than on computer and this is a problem when you're making UIs and uh, what I'm gonna explain is essential to, to know if you want to make your UI compatible for mobile and desktop the difference between UI offset and UI scale now you may ask what's that again well let's just insert the screen UI into the starter UI the starter UI is the place where all GUIs are stored which shall all shall be sticking to the player's screen. On the server there won't be any GUI because the server is not a player. So the starter GUI means that it's the GUI that in there are all the GUIs with that the player starts. So a screen GUI is a GUI. We do not have to name it but it's very good naming your, your GUIs anything because this makes it easier to know which GUI is which. So now in the screen GUI let's click on plus and add in the frame. And this frame now in the properties you can actually find the size property X and Y. And see here it's 100 offset on both and zero scale on both. And this is bad because like this it will not at all scale with the size of our screen. It will stay in the same size and will block more of the screen on the phone than on the desktop. So, how do we change that? So, first of all, let's get rid of all the offset on both, which yet is not really possible, but it we cannot just delete. So, now we need to put it to zero. And now we can put it to at scale on the X axis. We can do 0.5 for scale. This makes that it's half the size of our screen. And now for Y, we can maybe do the same. And now when we check in how big it is on the phone, you see that on the phone it's a smaller size than on the desktop. You see, it scales with the size of the device. And the easier way to see this is when I resize the Explorer. See how it gets smaller and bigger? And important is that if you actually want to know how, if your UI is compatible, is that you close as many windows as possible. Now you know if your UI actually is a usable size. Uh, just trying to open the properties again. Oh, probably actually, I'm gonna keep them somewhere like this that it won't resize, that it won't be taken as screen part. This I'm gonna have the properties. Uh, yeah, for I mean, I never did it this way, but how about but I think it's good when working on UI doing it this way that you have th that the screens are not their own. Oh, that the screens don't scale with the don't 
change the screen size so you might understand it this way so you see that the UI it is now the size but the explorer and the properties don't make a difference and this is what uh, is good to have when you're designing UI this way you can know how the UI will look for desktop and like this as well how it will look for phone okay so this was another tutorial for Roblox Studio I hope you have enjoyed it bye if you'd like this video then please just give it a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more of my videos then just click the thumbnail that should be on your screen now and if you as well want to support my work at no extra cost then just click on the thumbnail that should be right now in the middle of your screen